You're listening to KEXP Listener Powered Radio. We're at 90.3 FM in Seattle. You can find us online at kexp.org, streaming around the world. I'm Cheryl Waters, host of the Midday Show, and I am so excited to have our good friends from Mammut live here in the KEXP studios in Seattle. Welcome. Thank you. So great to have you here. We're just talking about how many times we've done sessions with you. I think this is number seven. Yeah, we're finally here. Yes, your first yeah. time in Seattle. Why don't you start with a couple songs and then we'll see what you've been doing. Mm-hmm. Enjoy. It's Mammut live on KEXP.
Ah, so beautiful. So lucky to have Mahmoud live here in the KEXP studios. Tomorrow they're going to be playing a free show at Numo's, part of Reykjavik Calling. And as I watch you perform that magnificent song, I know you have a huge fan base already, but only enormous things happening for that band. And I can only think how lucky people will be to see you at an intimate club in your first visit to Mm -hmm. Seattle tomorrow night. Who knows Mm -hmm. how big your shows will be next time. We hope it will be. That is Mahmoud live here in the KEXP studios in town from Iceland and playing Reykjavik Calling tomorrow at Numo's, a great lineup that includes Seattle bands Sassy Black, Brianna Morella, Midday Vale, and also Icelandic artist DJ Airplane and Spaceship. Yeah. Spaceship and Airplane. Spaceship and Airplane. Could probably go either way Uh there. Wow, it is wonderful to have you here in Seattle. As I mentioned earlier, we were so lucky to discover you, our video crew, over in Iceland back in 2009. Yeah. And uh, the first, this is, I think, our seventh time shooting a session with you. And it's been so fun to watch uh, the band grow and progress. But you've actually been a band even much longer than that. Um, can you tell? Can you introduce the band and tell me how you met and got started as Mamut? Yeah, I can do that. I'm I'm Katrina. 
and I'm the singer. And uh, it's Alexandra over there, the green green guitar, Ipanes and and Andre on the drums, and and Arnar on the guitar, and and there's Ausa, the bass player. And you've known each other for a very long time, since you were quite young. Have you been <coughs> playing together, or some of you anyway, for more than 10 years? Yeah, we've been playing. We started out like late 2003, when we were like 13 years old. And um, and uh, yeah, we've been playing together ever since. Not planning to stop. You sound incredible, obviously, that many years playing together. You've sunk into a sound that really works and you work well together but first and foremost it seems like you're just really great friends yeah that's what's like i i don't think we planned on staying so long together but it's like uh we've grown as a family so it's we've never thought about it being a choice to not be in this band well if you enjoy spending time together and then you can make this great music i mean why not you have a number of albums out, and you just played a couple of songs from your new EP, River's End. Yeah. And your music is so emotional. It actually took me a few minutes into that first song to realize that you were singing in English. Yeah. And of course, I had read mm-hmm. that you had uh, done some songs in English on this record. That's the first time that you've, you've done that, right, for yeah. Mammut record? Yeah, it's like the first time we wanted to do an experiment with English. It's a... <clears throat> It's funny to have been play, playing so long and, and speaking these words to an audience and, and, and then you realize a big part of it, the big part of the audience, audience doesn't understand the word what you're saying. And that's really beautiful, but it's really interesting to see how it will work out when, when people actually know what I'm saying. I hope they won't be disappointed. <laughs> No, it's absolutely wonderful, and I and I did understand what you were saying. But mm-hmm. as I mentioned, your songs are so emotional that it took me a minute before I even realized into the first song, mm-hmm. a couple minutes, that oh, she's singing in English. Mm-hmm. And I'm wondering how, with the songs being so emotional, is there a story there? How difficult is it to write in English for you? Are you translating yeah. songs? Yeah, the, this EP is translated, and that's. Um that's kind of, it has to be the same story because the song is the story, so you can't change the story. So I had to like translate, not word by word, but I tried to have the sounds similar, you know, sounds in the S's and, and but, but we're gonna write our album in English, our next album, try that out and, and then I will just write from scratch in English because, yeah, and see what stories will come up. It sounds challenging, but fun. It yeah, it is. I, as you say, you've been together for so long, it's probably good to look for new challenges. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I think it's like really important because this has scared us for many years, I think. And now we're like, hmm, this is, this is interesting and, and the right time. The new EP, River's End, and you say you're working on a new album or have plans to. Yeah. With five people in the band, is songwriting something that you do together? Yeah, we really... Um, meet up in a similar room like this, but not with these like beautiful stars. But um, and we write it together. It depends. Someone comes up with a line, and then we build it like layers over it. And and we don't really talk about talk too much together when we're writing music. We do not talk. I think because we're so good friends, but we actually never talk about music. That's funny. We just go into a room and write music, and then we just get inspiration from something totally different. Do you all tend to like the same kind of music, the same bands, or are you just coming from no. all kinds of different directions? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We, yeah, we, 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 um, that's maybe the reason we don't talk about it, because we really don't like the music, you know, f- from each other. <laughs> or, you know, what? we have a really different taste in music. But when you're writing music for Mahmoud, does it seem effortless? Uh, <clears throat> it depends. It can be really struggling really like nothing happens for months but then it comes like a wave like big waves and it's like but yeah it comes it flows Mm -hmm. you mentioned i got to see you last night um and you've been in seattle for a couple days and you did say i'm correct that this is your first time in seattle yeah how have you liked it so far we really we really like it don't we yes (laughs) yeah we we thought it's much more quiet than we thought it's like really it's 
uh, it's like a city and, and maybe because of the heavy clouds and the the moist it's like it it's like a it's like quiet like a little cocoon yeah like a little cocoon because we thought we were going into this crazy big city yeah, it's a wonderful city. It is a wonderful city. You'll have to come back when we're in the peak of summer mm -hmm. and it's blue skies and sunny and warm and see mm -hmm. what you think then, okay. how different it feels. We're so excited to have Mahmoud live here in the KEXP studios. And tomorrow they're going to be playing a free show at Numo's, which I highly recommend. And you just played two songs from your new album, River's End, or mm -hmm. it's an EP. Mm -hmm. And I see now that you're going to play something from your previous record, yeah. which congratulations. I know that you won an Icelandic award for best album, mm -hmm. song of the year, yeah. and also album artwork. Yeah. And did you do the artwork for that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And tell me about that. Is is that something that you do for all the records or for everything for Mama? No, we, we worked on other records together, but it was like a... It was like a perform, like a photographed performance. Um, after we wrote the album, it was a, we did a photographed performance and took photographs and and it worked well out. Well, it's beautiful mm -hmm. and congratulations on that award and your new album or your new EP called Rivers End. And can you tell me the title of this album? Uh, no, the album. Come yeah. to Timmy's Svarta Sister. You've got a song from that coming up next. Yeah. It's Mammut live on KEXP.
Mahmoud live here on KEXP. Wow, that sounded so beautiful. So wonderful to have you here. Do you have one more?
Ah, fantastic. That is Mahmoud live here on KEXP, and I absolutely love that song. And uh, Salt, in your last album, the Icelandic version, won Song of the Year, and uh, that's on your new EP. Wow, thank you so much. It sounds great. It's so great to see you. Thank you. You can see Mahmoud tomorrow night at Numo's. It's a 21 and over free show, highly recommended. And once again, this is Mahmoud live on KEXP Seattle. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.